have uh, several proteins that uh, can be a uh, direct candidate to detect Alzheimer's uh, currently. Uh, but so far, um, it's very hard to predict with accuracy if an individual that is cognitively health will develop Alzheimer's disease or not. So with a group of proteins, one protein that was already analyzed previously, and uh, with this one that we are uh, investigating now, we can detect with more accuracy uh, if an individual that has no cognitive symptoms will develop Alzheimer's disease or Alzheimer's disease pathology at least in the future. So what are the applications of this? Is it really just for people who are at high risk but so far have not shown any symptoms? Yeah, so uh, the main application for this uh, is because the currently clinical trials, they are focusing mostly in cognitively unimpaired individuals that are at more risk of developing Alzheimer's because uh, at the moment we believe that by started treating people before the development of cognitive symptoms would be more effective uh, than starting individuals that are already advanced in the disease. But for this, we need to understand which uh, is the right population for treatment. And then we believe with the combination of these proteins, we can uh, target with more accuracy the exact population that is at risk of developing Alzheimer's. So you could potentially develop preventative treatments as a result of this? Exactly, perfect. So we believe that uh, by targeting these proteins or by understanding that these cells are out altered in the brain, we can develop new treatments that will be uh, applied to this population of individuals uh, made uh, with the currently anti-amyloid therapies that have been approved in some countries as the United States. So we believe that we can target both of these pathologies together, individuals that uh, currently do not have any cognitive symptoms. Why has there been so little progress? Alzheimer's is a condition that affects so many people globally. So little progress in terms of being able to get breakthroughs in this space and to have treatments or be able to slow down or reverse the impacts of Alzheimer's. Yeah, I think uh, one of the main reasons is that Alzheimer's disease is a multifactorial disease. So uh, several uh, pathologies might be occurring at the same time. And for a long time, the field has been focusing on uh, the classical ones that are amyloid and tau. And maybe we have been overlooking other pathologies as astrocyte reactivity. So, and also maybe neuroinflammation, that's another uh, important field. So maybe if you, we start looking at Alzheimer's disease with a more broad view, we might uh, come up with better and more effective treatments.